Well, hello everyone. Hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. My name is Joel Duggan and this is not the Citadel. This is the Minecraft 1.18 experimental snapshot number one. It was released yesterday and uh, you've probably seen a number of videos on YouTube about it already because some of those people are fast at getting their videos out. Uh, and I don't do a lot of YouTube content, so I do Twitch content. And uh, this was the first opportunity that I had to stream, so I thought I would share that with you. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start a new single-player world, because we don't have a choice. And uh, we are going to... Survival. Difficulty hard, why not? Uh, no data packs needed. We're going to allow cheats just for screenshots and stuff for later. Uh, and there's a chance that this might not be great on my computer. Uh, I don't run a potato, but uh, there ha it is experimental. Uh, Mojang has been very clear that it is a work in progress, and so we don't want to um, we don't want to <laughs> put ourselves into a corner where uh, we can't get around some things and at least look around. So my goal is to play for at least an hour. If it if it's unplayable for me, then uh, we'll switch over to the Citadel and we'll continue to stream uh, like a regular day. But if it's good and it works fine, uh, then then we'll muscle on and we'll see what's up. Uh, I am going to change a couple of game rules uh, because I want to turn fire tick off. Uh, where is that? Update fire off. I just don't want any of the lava to burn down anything uh, that would otherwise be very, very cool to see. Uh, that would be the only thing. I don't really think we have to worry about anything else. I'm okay with everything. Pillager patrols, all that kind of stuff. Why not? We'll leave it all the same. So that's done. Uh, more world options. That all looks fine to me. Seed. We could leave it blank or do a random seed. So what I thought I would do, because uh, I thought this was a, a fun joke when I was messing around on Bedrock on uh, the Xbox, is um, Miss Snarky has a dog named Tally. So we're going to call this Tallytown. Can you put spaces in seeds? I'm not sure if you can. Either way, we're going to call it Tallytown and see what happens. Worlds using experimental settings are not supported. This world uses experimental settings that could stop working at any time. Dun dun dun. We cannot guarantee it will load or work. Here be dragons. Look out. The road is dangerous. Take this. All right, let's see what we've got going on. Uh, I should let everyone else know that uh, I'm also barbecuing. I'm smoking some ribs as I'm doing some streaming today. So uh, I've got a break set in about an hour. So uh, I will be taking my normal break every hour. However, those breaks might be a little bit longer than normal. Normally I pop away for five or six minutes. I'm probably gonna go 10, uh, cause it will involve uh, checking the ribs, maybe adjusting some stuff on the barbecue. So um, just be patient if you don't mind. That's my first time trying to do this. Uh, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to do this a lot in the future because I mean, hey, I gotta sit here and I gotta, I gotta, um, you know, Smoke and stream and all that kind of stuff. So smoking some some ribs today, uh, but it's gonna be a long cook, and uh, I think I think it will be be good overall. Wow. Okay. Right away, we are seeing enough rib talk. Let's talk about the mesa biome. That looks like the mesa biome I was actually in in person in Utah in 2017. Village, good start. We're not gonna live in a village, but I'm absolutely gonna loot it. <laughs> because we need stuff. That is bonkers. I was watching Pixel Riff's video on YouTube earlier today, and he was like, he was planning on going caving, and then of course he got distracted by stuff like this. Isn't that nuts? I mean, in a, in a great way. Like, cashew nuts, not peanuts. We're talking like, you know, fancy hazelnuts even. I got this great village here, so we've got instant beds that we will steal. Bookshelves, all kinds of good stuff. First, I want food. I need to, no, oh, we're good that way. So again, my, the computer screen might be a little bit on the choppy side for me anyway. Brewing stand. Now, something I did notice uh, in some of the videos is that there were no, or not a lot of uh, mobs spawning uh, 
neutral mobs. Oh, hello. We're we're just gonna yoink. Bed unlocked. Sweet. Uh, we're also gonna steal some hay and wheat uh, because uh, I didn't see a lot of natural mobs like chickens and sheep and cows spawning in the videos that I watched on YouTube. So we're just gonna pilfer this village. Wasn't us. We didn't do it. Not here. I don't even have anything to break that down with. I guess I should have punched a tree. Oh, hi, cat. Another bed. There are no chests in this village. Oh, there's pigs here. That's good. We'll leave those there. The cops, run. Already, I don't remember which houses I've been in and which ones I have not. That looks like... There, there's no chests. Where's all the chests? That Enderman was on fire. Was it me or was that Enderman on fire? That Enderman is on fire. Can they be on fire? He doesn't look happy about it. He's no longer on fire. I wonder what happened there. Whoa! That was close. That was almost death. Um, we're going to have to be careful. There's a, there's a hole there. Holy smoke. No wonders there's no villagers around. Fazu Battlecaster says there might be a, lo a lava pool around. And Cosmic is Chorus is here. Katie Land. Hello, how's it going? Was focusing on getting things sorted here early on, so apologize if I missed anyone. This is kind of cool. Look at that. We're going to go in there. First, I need a tree. I'm not so worried about nighttime because obviously we don't have to worry about that with a bed. So that's easy. Uh, passive mobs spawn less because the elevation of the land is higher and the spawning algorithm has less chance to work higher you go. Oh, that makes sense. That totally makes sense. All right, uh, we need at least, I guess I have to get a, a wood pickaxe before I can do anything else. We're gonna get some stone right away. Normally I'll make an axe, but I got a funny feeling if we go in here, we can find some stone and some coal. Sweet. Oh, I missed the giant opening. <laughs> All right, well, we'll stu still do it this way. Two, three. Do. All right, that's good. Uh, now we're going to get some of this. This is going to take a little bit underwater, but that's fine. Uh, Else Moon. First time joining in? Well, welcome on in. Whoop. Let's not drown. Let's not make Else Moon think we don't know what we're doing. Hope you're having a good day. I'm in a good mood because I've got meat on the barbecue. I had half a mind to set up a webcam. I just didn't have time. I was gonna. Not that it matters. The barbecue lid is closed, but <laughs> would have been pretty funny, I think. Well, the barbecue temperature is falling, which is not a good thing.
This is taking too long. We're going to find coal that's not underneath the water. That's better. Put the camera inside the grill? Yeah. I don't know a webcam that can stand up to a barbecue. Oh, how it feels to not have Depth Strider in Minecraft. All right. That gives us a little bit of stuff to go on. Grab some torches. Probably need a few more. So we've got a handful of torches. We've got some coal. We've got some tools. I have a bed. And we need to do this for food. And I would say that has us pretty much set to go. So let's take a look over this way. We know that really close to spawn, about 1-1 one, one is this town, so we can always come back here. We need cows and stuff. I shouldn't have taken all that wheat. I should have bred up some cows. Oh, well. The light level thing actually works. Yes, that's the other thing that's changed. The um, mobs need zero light level to spawn, not seven, zero. It, it takes the um, amount of light or radius of a, of a torch and like doubles it. It really is a, is a big game changer. I'm curious as to whether that's gonna have a big effect on mob farms. Uh, but then again, you've got tinted glass these days. So you could potentially still have the same farm design and update it to just have zero light level instead of neutral or like below seven. We're gonna try to get up here as best we can. Obviously there's gonna be some Jukin and jiving. No, I don't want to go down. I want to go up. That's right. I'm okay with having some terracotta in my life. I think it might be easier just to cut a hole. Can't complain about having some terracotta, but here we go. <laughs> that's a lot that's a lot a lot of uh a lot of dead bushes but free sticks can't complain less trees to cut down 17 need a little bit more than that I didn't check to see what my render distance on it's usually default 16. um video settings yes So exciting, this just M. Hello, how's it going? I don't recognize your name. Welcome on in. Good design mob farms always have light level zero because the chance of mob spawning is highest at zero light. Ah, that's a good point. I'm thinking about things like the um, the big curtains that people put over, like witch farms and stuff. That might have to change. So we've got an ocean. We've got a desert with what looks like... I almost hit my zoom key, which I don't have. No Optifine yet. It looks like there's a cave down there. Not that we can breathe underwater just yet. Well, I'm glad we got sorted with a bed and some food straight away. That's uh, that's some happy times. We almost got a stack of sticks. That's good. Uh, we'll sleep here just so that the mobs don't come out because, of course, light level across everywhere is going to be zero. There's another portal. We'll check that. I guess for some goodies and looks like a pillager outpost over there. Spyglass. Yes, if I can find a geode. I don't really have a lot of plans. I kind of want to explore. I want to be nomadic for a little while. I wouldn't mind setting up in a cave if we can find someplace cool. So like that and this has have potential. Probably explore the ones that's open to air first. This also looks like a ravine. Else Moon, I, I typed in Tally Town, uh, but I'll give you the I'll give you the seed. Oops, taps. Hold on. 
That's it there. Oh, let's take this with us. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, please no spoilers in chat if you decide to play on the seat as well. Um, please don't tell me where things are. I'd like to try and just discover things for myself. I would say that falls under the no back seating rule that we have here on the channel. A Joel Duggan sighting on the interwebs. A Rebel Eye sighting on the interwebs as well. Are you enjoying Infinity Cove, Rebel Eye? Did you get sorted out? For those wondering, uh, Rebel Eye is uh, a new member of the Infinity Cove server, which is my patron server. You can check that out at patreon.com. I got the feeling there's a couple of new people in the chat. I want to be careful with this sand. I don't want to end up down into something that I can't manage. It looks like there's some magma cubes down there. So it's like an ocean ravine? That's weird. Oh, I see something green. Is it sugar cane? Ah, it's sugar cane. Oh, hey, my texture packs are working. That's interesting. Hold on. Uh, nope. Huh. That's cool. I didn't think they were going to work. I guess I'll leave them on. I mean, I'm just going to have to move them around anyway. I mean, it's nothing crazy. I just, I make sugarcane look 3D. As long as people know that I've got that going on, that should be fine. I should have noticed with the wheat texture. I'm just so used to it. Anything interesting? Of course, you can see a lot less when you're underwater, but that looks to me, nah, it doesn't, I don't think it goes anywhere. Oh, there's some copper. We might be able to actually get that spyglass. If I can mine this in time. That's one. Oh, here's some that's not underwater. Haven't yet, but I will. Cool. I just wanted to make sure that you're not waiting on anybody. That was the main thing. All right. Now that we're down here. How much copper in a spyglass? We need ingots, don't we? They didn't change the version number in data packs and resource packs. It's a real problem in modding, though. Oh, interesting. I prefer it when they don't update all that kind of stuff. Because it makes... When I've got data packs and... and um, Resource packs to update it. Things look like they don't work and it becomes confusing for people. Right. Let's just get up here. I want to pop over to that um, nether portal. Not that I have any intentions of going to the nether. I just want to go see what there might be. Or uh, oh, surface level iron. Oh, hello. Get my axe out here. Where are you? Oh, I was scanning. We thought we can get the drop on him, but we'll get other iron. <laughs> we'll get safer iron. Maybe there's iron in this chest. There was no blacksmith at the village that I saw. We we're kind of out of luck there. Obsidian, crying obsidian, probably some lava that I don't want to fall into. Chest. Probably gold and things that we probably don't really need right now. Gold helmet, flint, golden hoe. I guess we'll take that. I kind of want to get up on the top of this next hill. I like how smooth everything is. I like that it doesn't look like miniature versions of hills. The hills are actually rolling and large. And I know that these are probably glitches in terms of seeing some Mesa material in the side of this savanna. But I think it looks good. I think it matches. I think it's the kind of thing that, one, I've seen in real life, and two, um, you would encounter uh, out there. Um I think maybe taking a happy accident and, and have it happen more purposely would be cool. But like, 
the grass color makes sense next to all this and the coarse dirt having some of this red rock stick out makes sense yeah when it's one block wide it's a little bit weird and we've also got i guess the rules are still the same in that hot biomes still appear next to one another we've got a jungle down there so we've got some bamboo more dead bushes how am i doing for wood i guess i should probably chop down a tree is it me did i know that savannas had this kind of leaf color for oak trees am i not remembering that right or is that new i feel like the dead bushes are a different color too maybe i should take the resource packs off I haven't changed any of that though. Then none of that's mine. I only change most of what I change are items in your inventory. So we've got a jungle. I love this. I would totally, totally build up here. And it looks like we've got like a shift in grass color. What are we in now? We are in a wooded badlands plateau. So we're not in a mesa. It's actually a wooded badlands. And then here is a savanna. That's what it is. I don't, we don't have a lot of wooded badlands on the Citadel. That's probably why I made that mistake. And then it transitions right into a bright green jungle. Forest, sorry. Forest, then jungle. It's kind of cool that they put a forest between this and the jungle. All right. Now, are there going to be any friends in here that we don't want to deal with? I am not worried about doing the puzzle. Hello. Victory is mine. I think I want to pick. Bones. You know what? I'll take the chest too. It's not that. Thought there was a tripwire here. Oh, hello. Wait. More iron. Five, that's a shield. That's happening right now. And we even have sticky pistons in case we want to get like a sugarcane farm or something going. Can't complain. Arrows. Giga Titan, hello, how's it going? Uh... Oh, that's the wrong way. Whoops. I'm used to having feather falling. Here we go. Screwgun, welcome in. Good to see you. Hope everyone's having a good day. We are exploring the experimental snapshot for 118. And we found a bunch of goodies. We're going to make a shield. Uh, is it just this? Isn't that awful? Ah. Okay. You can go there. I do have the lower shield texture pack, so hopefully that'll allow you guys to see what's going on a little bit better. Keep on dropping these things and then having to pick them up again. Okay. Oh, nighttime. 
High ground. Inventory is full already. We're going to have to set up shop somewhere. Almost, almost dark time, isn't it? I've gotten spoiled by having a clock. Whoa, a Joel on the weekday says Saru unit. Uh, yeah, happens from time to time. Special occasions. Uh, I'm actually thinking about setting up a Patreon goal that would unlock a guaranteed weekday stream because I've got to take time off work to stream during the week. Uh, and I didn't really start until 4.30, so really I was kind of done work for the day. And I mean, I, I took the afternoon off anyway. I had to prep the ribs for the barbecue. I think I started at about 2 o'clock, so... I worked until about two. And use those magic bundles. I got to find some rabbits and deal with their screaming as we murder them. Or I can find a villager and trade with the villager. Oh, I don't want to go too near that. So we've seen a jungle. We've seen a... The Mesa thing is really cool. That, that I think, was a, a really nice way to start off the... Uh, the stream with something really cool this is also nice too look at this it's not a three block deep lake right like it's actually got it's gonna take a while for my eyes to adjust but it's actually got some depth to it it's got some contours it's got some steep parts it's got shallow parts and it is or still a river biome so i know this is something i heard pixel riff say and he's 100 percent right and that is drowned farms now don't have to be these slender little river things. This is a big area to put a drowned farm in, right? We're going to axe fish for cod or salmon. Because the wheat is only going to last us so far. This is how we fish for salmon in Canada, just so you know. Axe fishing. Am I getting any of that? I'm not getting any of that. I need to condense the bones. Are bundles unlocked in this experimental? Yes. The only thing I think that's different is that on Bedrock, you can get skulk sensors. I'm disappointed they're not on Java yet, but I plan on playing these snapshots as, as long as my computer can handle them. And so far, it's okay. Um, you're not going to be able to see it on Twitch, but I've definitely got my, my typical stutter going on. But that's because I can't, my computer can't seem to play Minecraft outside of having Optifine. Nothing against, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, Minecraft is bad. I'm saying I've got a very specific issue. Um, how did you survive that axe hit? That was impressive. Thick scaled salmon. Get everything? I'd say that's good for now. All right, let's cross the way here and get some bamboo. Do I have enough room? Probably not. Where should we set up? What would be a good place to look for? Do, do we want to live in a cave or do we want to live in a mountain? I mean, we could do both. I wonder if pillagers spawn less too. I don't know. I feel like pillager outposts have their own spawning rules, Elsmoon. But I would imagine that... Um, Pilger patrols would spawn less, right? Again, maybe they have their own rules like the Wandering Trader. We might have to condense some inventory here. Ooh, that is... You gotta be careful walking around. We need more coal. Uh, anything I hear I don't want? I really, I don't really care about one piece of terracotta. Let's... Get enough to start ourselves a little farm. I'm thinking about being a very practical adventure, light on the build, heavy on the assets, uh, I think, for this playthrough. Because I'm not the biggest fan of early day Minecraft. Oh, more copper though. But I'd like to have a spyglass specifically because we're expend uh, looking on the surface. For that, unfortunately, we're gonna need an amethyst geode. I'm not sure where we're gonna find one of those. Lush Cave, says J. Price. You want me to live in Lush Cave? Not a bad idea. The thought had crossed my mind. That or Dripstone. Dripstone would also be cool. I feel like that would be 
a good way to um, feel get a feel for the the experimental uh, would be to um, I don't want to be in the water. Stop it. Uh, would be to uh, live in one of the caves if we can find one big enough. The ones that I saw Pixorus find were um, not super large. Well, that's one way to get all the bamboo. Oh, pocket of water. I guess I could just wear this. Free up an inventory slot. This is really cool. Even just the subtle differences here in height. You re it really does feel like a different a different version of Minecraft. Not just an update, but cue the jokes here about Minecraft 2.0, right? I'm glad that you're feeling better, Rabelais. I think I was calling you Rabelai earlier. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why. Blame Wednesday. Some flowers. Um, I guess we could get a little extra wood. Really, I want enough iron. I need another bit of iron to get a chest plate. Didn't see anything of particular interest. Just more jungle. Whoa. Some of these you don't know. Some of these could be very, very steep. Love the depth variation landscape has with this. Yeah. You got to be real careful too. Like sometimes you think, oh, I'm just going to jump over this. And they're like, you know, like that. If that was not filled with water, that could be rough, right? I think some of them look a little bit strange. Uh, I mean, obviously, again, work in progress. I know that Mojang is is um, still re refining things. So where are we going? We're mostly heading, I think, southwest, east, south, southeast. I've always found it weird. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this on stream recently, but I've always found it weird that the directions in Minecraft, the positives and negatives are like the opposite of how algebra works in like the X, Y, Z coordinates and stuff. I always feel like you should be going positive when you're going north. And negative when you're going south. I always like going south. It feels like going downhill. But and then east west, same thing. It's like reversed. Oh, more iron. I don't think we have any iron ore on us, do we? No. Just the one. Skimpy. What is this? Stone shore. Is that new? I don't remember seeing stone shores before. Oh, food time. That drives me insane. North and east should be positive. South and west should be negative. Exactly. Exactly. Hurting cats. How's it going? Uh, anything poking around? Exposed in the cave? Just some more coal that I can't walk by. How was that? Tell me the last time you found one piece of coal. Like no one. Uh, okay, we're okay for coal. I need some torches here. Spoiled by Optifine and torches giving off light in your hand. Whoa. No thanks. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Fine. I'm taking my torches back then. Wasting torches on cheap cave.
Originally, the sun rose in the north and set in the south, but nobody knew. It was just assumed rising sun was west, and later they fixed it. That was back in the beta days. Oh, I didn't know that. That would have messed me up, too. Uh, what game does that? Is it satisfactory? I want to say satisfactory. It's either that or it's the reverse. It, like, rises in the west and sets in the east. Something like that. Another potential exposure site. I know. Oh. There's no giant ore veins in this yet. Zombie. There does feel to be less hostile mobs, that's for sure. Nope, nothing. I'm just kind of like poking into these caves. I know that iron distribution has changed too. I should have really I should have really gone and like read the full article. I kind of just been going off of the snapshot knowledge I have from the spawn chunks. That's pretty. Almost looks like there's a little lighthouse or something over there. Just a tree. Your game needs a mod to be playable. There's a serious issue in your game. That or a serious issue with my PC. Um, Ali Riza, as I say your name right? Ali Riza? Um, if you check out my Twitch specs, you can see what I'm running. It's not a potato, but for whatever reason, uh, Minecraft has like, the best I can explain it is uh, when I look left and right like this, the whole screen goes funny. So if I was to exaggerate it and share it with you viewers, again, this has nothing to do with the snapshot this happens like this is what i see on a very subtle level and then over time that that gives me a headache uh it's not fps i get like people even commented the other day on stream that i get i i get a solid x 60 fps um, I think it's, I think it's got something to do with my monitor or my processor. The only thing I can think of hardware wise is that maybe my motherboard is, um, is not, is not working right with all the components. I had the computer built. I didn't buy it prefab, but I'd love to work with a computer company, like a, like a, someone that builds custom PCs. I'd love, I'd love to try to work with somebody because I do a lot of content. I do videos, I do streaming, I do podcasts. It'd be very cool. Oh, I heard a skeleton. And a zombie. Are you just in the trees or are you in a cave somewhere? There's another cave. Hello? Let's explore. I'm mostly just trying to find some iron so I'm not like gonna die immediately. Whoa. Ha! Oh, that's not good. Darn it. Torches! Darn it. Blew up my torch. Stop it. Kind of case the joint. Look around. See what's what? I'm not seeing anything fun. Oh, iron. Sweet. Next to lava. Let's be careful. Thought, or I thought it was next to lava. Did anybody else see lava? Huh. Yeah, maybe I saw the dirt. Three plus four. That's good stuff. Okay. Anything else around here? Some coal. Glow squid. This is a much bigger cave than it looks. Uh, it is Java. Yeah, it's Java. Sorry, I should have specified that in the 
title for this stream. Some copper. It's going to take too long to mine underwater. Sorry. So really, I feel like, uh, and this is something I think I knew from watching Pixel Rift's video, as well as I think Exumavoid. It looks like iron, you have to go a little bit higher, a little bit farther afield. You'll get little bits here and there. I mean, we're not staying here. That's why I'm taking the torches and piecing out. Nah, whatever. I'll leave those. And we're out. Sort of. It's a big birch forest. That was something I should have thought of. I should have thought to see uh, what this would have looked like with large biomes. I never thought to tweak that setting in the custom settings, if that's even a thing. So one of the, my one regret in the Citadel when we started the Citadel server is that we set it up to be small biomes because we wanted to have a range of materials close to all of us because we were in limited time. Um, but for a building standpoint, having small biomes means you're just constantly switching your background. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Um, so that's kind of a an issue. We have gone more, more south than we have anything else. How does everybody feel about the new spawn mechanics? I think it's great. I think it's it's going to allow for those deep, dark, crazy caves to be less of a giant problem. Uh, and I think that uh, it's going to maybe make people tweak their um, farms a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be something hugely problematic. Uh, we're going to make a furnace... And we're going to use some, but not all, of our bamboo to smelt iron. I think that's why they added tinted glass. I would not be surprised, Katie Land. Yeah, I think so too. Probably something very, very similar. Uh, Herding Cat says, I think it's a really good idea for a few different reasons. Less torch spam and easier lights up buff to start. Also, you can do some of the really subtle lighting. Um, oh, that's not enough for a chest plate. Crap. Uh, some of the really subtle lighting that people want to do in in their creative builds, um, I think is is going to be a big, a big deal. All right, seven iron. We need at least one more. Midday. Now this is a big um, birch forest, that's for sure. Taiga biome. Again, the rivers and lakes look really cool. I guess they're all technically river, uh, river biomes, but they look much better than they did before. Probably going to take some time to get used to. Um, yeah. I mean, already it feels... I mean, I'm feeling the two things that we mentioned earlier in the stream. Mobs, hostile mobs are spawning less, but so are passive mobs. Passive mobs are spawning less because of the height terrain generation. I can't remember who told me that in chat, but good good call. Uh, and then pass, uh, aggressive mobs are, um, are, are spawning less because they require a zero light level. this go anywhere nope dark oak forest skellington cool whoa here we go iron success and my ankles uh, let's just pop over here. Oh, nice. Get 
that one. Like, how cool is this? Neat. So it's not impossible to find iron. It's not like, I feel like the snapshot that we played in the desert uh, earlier this spring, we were a long time getting iron, like three hours not finding any. And already I've got an iron pick and enough to make a chest plate. More coal. I'm not super worried about coal right now. I'll take the copper though. It's a good thing that there's not aggressive aquatic mobs in things like this. Like I know there's guardians, but like it's a good thing there's not like squids or octopus that are aggressive towards the player because I feel like you'd have to really second guess diving into something like this ravine with water in it. Cub has figured out that the new light level does really affect blazes and magma cubes. Doesn't. Oh no, no it wouldn't. Uh, those spawn at higher light levels. Or drowned. Yeah, drowned um, Drowned always spawn at low light. They have to be like a certain amount from the surface or something. I can't remember how that works. 55 raw copper. That's not quite enough, I don't think. Copper is pretty abundant, although when you smelt it all down, it doesn't really go as far as you think. What do we need to get rid of here? I don't care about sand. I guess that's one benefit of actually setting up a, a base is that uh, you, um, you have a spot to put stuff. So we might have to decide where we want to be soon-ish. What am I doing for time here? Almost there. If you weren't here at the start of the stream, uh, it's a bit of a, a different stream for me this week. Uh, I'm actually barbecuing right now. I've got ribs on the Weber kettle. So um, I normally take a break once an hour anyway. Um, and they're only about five or six minutes. However, today I think those breaks are going to be just a little bit longer. So if I can ask for your patience, uh, I would very much appreciate it. We're going to be playing for a good few hours. This is running good enough for me that I think I should be able to continue. Um, but uh, in, in the process of my breaks, I'm going to be popping over to my barbecue and uh, making sure that things are going right. So I might need just a little bit extra time. It may not be a big deal. The first check here after the first hour is just going to be... Uh, Actually, I guess I really don't have to do much. If you're looking, you're not cooking, as they say. I'm new to charcoal barbecue and smoking, so the learning process. Bees! Um, so yeah, it's... Um, I think I'm doing the 3 two, one method, which is three hours uncovered, two hours covered, and then a, probably not a full third. It's a pretty thin rack of spare ribs, so it'll probably be done after about five hours. But... Uh, the temperature is okay. I just want to make sure that the um, the fire is still going, like it, it, and maybe add another piece of applewood. I'm smoking with applewood, and uh, I'm gonna use apple juice or apple cider vinegar, or maybe a mix of both, uh, as some liquid. And I think I'm just gonna use straight up bullseye barbecue sauce. I don't have any like recipes for barbecue sauce right now, but that's really cool. Looks out over the ocean. Looks like our land masses have kind of run out. When am I not barbecuing? Uh, seldom. <laughs> because I um, I barbecue in a way that helps me through the rest of the week. Like I cooked chicken breasts the other night. No, sorry, chicken thighs. And that like that's three meals for me. Plus it was, um, I was able to drop some off to Miss Snarky. So then she's got a very busy week. So you got to put in some extra hours. So then she's got, I, I walked Tally, which is Tally Town is named after Tally. Um, I walked Tally the other night, and then I left some chicken thighs in in Miss Snarky's uh, fridge. So it it benefits both of us because normally I couldn't eat all the barbecue that I'd be making, um, but if I get to share it, which is part of the fun of barbecue, then it all goes to good good use. 
Time for bed, says Else Moon. Oh, wow. You must be over in Europe somewhere. Um, thanks for coming by. Have a lovely time. Lovely evening. Come back again. Drop a follow before you go. I think you have. Yes. Netherlands. Wow. That's really cool. We were talking about North mythology on the Citadel Cafe last week. Wow. That is... That's a massive hole. Look at that. That's like straight down. How straight down? This straight down. Yeah, I would not want to get magma cube sucked down into there. You'd suffocate before too long. I'm surprised there's not more than just enchanting in Minecraft. We should be able to make like a bamboo snorkel or something. Does this go anywhere? Looks like it maybe just continues. It might go farther down, but... This is going to sound silly. I get claustrophobic <laughs> in these kind of situations. Where's the light coming from? Is it daylight? It totally is. Wow. Oh, we've got clay. Does that mean... Is that moss? No, that's grass. Okay. Let's go up top again. Canada sounds so peaceful compared to your home in Texas. Oh, I don't know. Canada's got all its places. I mean, Toronto, I wouldn't call a peaceful, peaceful place. I mean, I, I've not spent much time in Toronto. Not throwing shade at Torontonians, but as a smaller town guy, Halifax being, I'd say roughly a half million people. But I live in a quieter part of the town, town, city, capital, whatever you want to call it. So here we're looking like we're back into just some regular Minecraft terrain that's just been given a good old rolling from the terrain gen. I feel like those are the first sheep we've seen. I know we saw pigs and cows. I haven't seen any chickens. Where are we going? We're just going mostly south. We're going to need to get down another way. Actually, the um, I looked up a video online um, from Aaron Franklin from years ago. I'm tempted to actually sign up for his master class. I don't have an offset smoker. I've just got a kettle, Weber kettle. Um, but the rub that I used on the ribs today did not have any brown sugar in it. It's more of a Texas style salt and pepper, garlic powder rub. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. This actually might be a decent spot to temporarily set up a camp. Just because it's nice and wide and open. If we have any bad guys coming, we're going to see them a mile away. Rather than um, dealing with them. Plus, there's already some cattle here. Some sheep. Pigs. This is actually really cool. If you were... I mean, outside of not having a lot... I mean, that's a pretty cool, cool mountain. Not a lot to look at around here. But this would be an excellent spot to set up. You can kind of have like a pre... Like your four walls are already are already here. All you have to do is put a lid on it and you're solid. Plus it's got a cave. Oh, what is that? Glow squid and a magma block. I think I might have called them magma cubes early by mistake. Low squid. It's a lot of water. I'm noticing a lot of water in caves. It feels like it sort of cuts off my access. Not seeing a lot of caves that are like spiraling down into the deep. Go check on your ribs, says Cosmic. Yes, that's a good idea. Let's uh, get ourselves back up to the top here. 
And obviously we need to craft. Before I go down into any caves, I want to craft a um a uh bu -bu 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 -bu, one of those chest platey things. That's what they're called. So let's just pick a spot where I can AFK. This looks good. I don't have a shovel yet on purpose. Alright, I'm just going to throw down a torch in here. Uh, I'm going to give myself a little bit of a break. Uh, you should too. If you're new to the channel, I take a break about once an hour. doesn't last very long. I am going to be checking on some ribs today, but normally it's only five minutes. Give me between five and ten, but uh, we'll be back with much more snapshot to come. We've just cracked the surface. I'll see you folks in just a little bit.
Right, we're back. Thanks so much for your patience, folks. Uh, things are going very, very well. And if you're a member of my Discord channel and you check the Food Driven Human channel, uh, you will see an update. Whoop, that was the torch. I meant to block something else. Uh, things are looking good. So the ribs are at 90 minutes. I'm going to take a short, short, short break in an hour. But then at, at the three hour mark for the actual ribs, I'm going to have to take a much longer. Is it sunrise? Oh, it's sunrise. Sweet. I'm gonna have to take a much longer break uh, at uh, at the 90 minute mark because that's probably when they're gonna have to be wrapped. Hello, looks like I came back just in time. How's the snapshot treating you? Uh, thanks for coming by, Pixriffs. Uh, outside of this chap, who I do not want to tangle with, you're gonna leave a hole. So be it. The first casualty. Uh, it's running about the same as the other snapshots. Uh, so specific to my computer, I'm having those stutter issues. Nothing I think that's going to keep me from playing it. I just have to have kind of watch my, my play time and stuff. That's all. Uh, it's also an, an interesting day as that, uh, I'm smoking ribs <laughs> at the same time that I'm, um, streaming. So the breaks are a little bit helter skelter. Uh, I need this and this. Yeah, so so far things are good. We we came into a huge mesa mountain. Like, I mean, not a mountain biome, but like it was a huge mesa next to a village. So we get a bed right away, and we were able to get a bunch of of, of food to get started. It's it it kicked us off, and then we left the village behind because didn't want to deal with the honks. We went over the mesa into a jungle, and we've seen a lot of really cool lakes and rivers. Yeah, Jungle Temple. Yeah, Jungle Temple. <laughs> I was like, I'm not leaving these behind. These are coming with. I'm I'm figuring this playthrough is going to be very um, utilitarian. But this is what I want right here. Yay. Yoink. What's it going to give us? Is this enough for pants? No. Boots, maybe. Mick Scrugan says, I just looked at the ribs. I'll be right over. Thanks. This is my second time doing ribs, but my first time doing spare ribs. I did uh, back ribs last time and they came out okay. They were a little bit dry, but they tasted good. So these ones, I'm going to have to play it by ear. I'm going to smoke them for three hours. This is now the next 90 minutes. Oh, we need more stuff. Um, I don't want to use all my bamboo. But uh, I'll wrap them for two hours. And then after that, I don't know. Oh, we do have enough. I think I'll save that for potentially a pick and an ax rather than pants for now. I watched your video pixel riffs on the, uh, on the snapshot and, uh, interesting. I definitely feel what you felt like it feels new, 
but for some reason it also feels barren with the the mobs not spawning as much it's really interesting you're going this way i got turned around i'm looking for a place to settle and i haven't quite found it yet but we're seeing a lot of these and i get claustrophobic so i don't go down them send some ribs across the bay offended to me oh are you um adam griffin are you in maine i was podcasting with lou today that's where lou's from he's from maine i think we're going to take some cows with us or some cow parts darn it sorry cow meant to make it quick you're not making it quick stop it stop it thank you oh we don't have enough room uh, what do we not care about Probably those. On the rebound. That should help us later on. New Brunswick, very cool. I went to school at Mount Allison. I am familiar with at least part of New Brunswick. I also have relatives in Port Elgin. A potluck stream? Nice. Orange Gaming Llama is in Canada as well. If you don't mind me asking, where in Canada are you from? Oh, we could potentially get bundles here. I don't think I have any string. And I don't have... Is there a dandelion around somewhere? I don't see one. That's a baby bunny, isn't it? This is going to hurt my heart, but a bundle would might actually be kind of handy. Oh, there's some dandelions. No, not the rabbits, Joel. Look away, Cosmic. Everybody everybody just hummed to themselves for 20 minutes. <laughs> it's probably going to take me that long. Don't be that guy. I just, I know that I don't want to settle down anywhere just yet, and my inventory is full of stuff. Case in point, I can't even pick this up. I guess we'll say goodbye to... I want to say goodbye to the flint. Um, sugar cane. Sugar cane seems to be common enough. Look away. Look away. Nothing. Also, baby. Nothing. All the rabbits have hid, I guess. That's a baby. Liwas, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. If, if uh, folks are curious, uh, wow, hello. Before I get distracted, uh, there's a tweet out there if you want to share the uh, the stream on Twitter. Trying to grow the channel. Is this? Are we going back the way we came? Did I go around in a complete circle? No. 295. We're st still heading heading south. This is really cool. I feel like we get sort of this kind of thing in, in Minecraft, but not at the scale. And this would have to be like the extreme badlands. I think that's what they're called. Extreme badlands. This looks like the arches that I saw in uh, Arches National Park in Utah. Like, that's incredibly cool. Very, very cool. We're going to go up top to get a good vantage point. I, I feel like the stream is just going to be a lot of walking around, but we will eventually settle. And I do, if they'll allow it to happen, I do want to continue playing on the same world if I can. Hey, first chicken. You have any eggs around? All right, the climb begins. Oh, food time. Minecraft never looks so good. Yeah, I agree. Oh, hey, we went up the wrong, went up the wrong way. 
That's right. We'll go across the arch, maybe. That could be kind of fun. I'm going to have to dig, aren't I? I think we're okay. Hold on. Get, there we go. Your parkour skills are put to the test. Pro tip, I don't have any. So this is the arch thing? Yeah. Look at that. We're on top of it. Straight out of Minecraft Dungeons. Like, I've actually been at Arches National Park and, like, sat in that kind of a space right there and taken a picture as the sun comes over this. This kind of stuff would look epic with shaders, you imagine? How cool is that? Be a great way to leave your base, you know? Build a little house up here, and then if when you eventually get Elytra, just always leave this way. <laughs> Swoosh. Like those guys in the um, the wingsuits, the crazy people in Europe that jump off of mountains and go like swooshing through little holes and stuff. Screenshot. Yeah, that's a good call. Thanks, Cosmic. My brain is not on. All right, we'll do two things. I'm going to screenshot it. Um, we'll do this. And then I'll turn on coordinates. So we can come back if we need to. Maybe not the best screenshot. Get up a little higher, maybe. My brain is on ribs. Yes, my brain is on ribs. They're not at the point where they're smelling good yet because, of course, they're still cooking, but eventually... Oh, here we go. That's a cool shot. Eventually, when I take them out of the foil and, like, you know, when I wrap them and stuff, then the smell really hits you. I think I'm going to put the sauce on them before I wrap them. I did that last time and I didn't think I was supposed to, but they turned out okay. The Precios. Oh no. That's terrible. Glad your power's back. On the diagonal, gifted a tier one sub to Orange Gaming Llama. Thanks very much, On the Diagonal. Really appreciate that. For anybody new coming in, we are playing the 118 snapshot. Experimental snapshot number one. Am I going the right way? No. I should, I really wish I could find a big Badlands biome on the Citadel. I feel like the next time I do a big project, I want to do something like Badlands-esque. I've just never spent much time in them in Minecraft, so they always feel so cool to me. It, going through Badlands like this, combined with the experimental land generation, reminds me of watching modded. It actually reminds me uh, of that modded series that you did, Pixel Rifts, with the Blood Moon and stuff. Welcome back, though, uh, Precios. Uh, glad to see you made it back to the stream. We completed that moss farm on the Citadel uh, on Monday, and uh, it's epic. Like, it's a monster. Well, there's a weird-looking village. We're going to rob it. I mean, we're coming from a coming from a Badlands biome, right? Might as well pretend like we're in Red Dead. I think I have access to Red Dead and Red Dead Redemption 2 with Xbox Game Pass. Has anybody played those? I heard jokes about Red Dead Redemption just being a horse trot simulator. <laughs> but I'm not sure. Oh, seeds and melons. Farmer was been here, I guess. Oh, hey. 
we don't have any room. We should smelt some of this stuff while we're here. While I'm looking around, I should put down a, a furnace and cook a few things. We're going to use coal, though, because I don't want to ruin all my bamboo. Um, let's do steak first. Jungle temple next to village next to portal. <laughs> it's did you find this? Did anybody else find this? That's messed around with this snapshot that it's a, like a, a plethora of riches. It almost feels like too good to be true. It's kind of like somebody that does the modded thing where they, they're playing a mod. Uh, that's cool. Uh, they're playing a mod that um, is, is too good. Like it puts stuff everywhere, you know? I don't know if we necessarily need a clock. Or the golden hoe. Um, don't need the dandelion anymore. What was it that I was in there that I wanted? Oh, I already got the chest. Never mind. Uh, let's... Grab some of this. And yes, I still do have my custom uh, texture packs running. Um, I didn't want to unload them all because I'm just going to have to reload them all for another stream. So it was the easiest thing to do. Oh, I hear a zombie. Pretty horse. Uh, nothing in there I want. Cub found a jungle temple in the middle of a plains earlier. Weird structure generation. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I have a hoe. What am I doing? It was free. Look at the durability go on that. <laughs> Why a golden hoe? Is it just for like piglin bait? Is that the idea? I should have picked up both of them. Good for one use and one use only. <laughs> wow. Zombie in the roof? Oh, maybe. Uh, what's the other thing we need to cook? Fish. And we need to make some bread. that'll do for now I think that'll go a long time for us some emergency high saturation food we're good dead bushes was the other thing that we had early on that really made a big difference like this to me just looks so cool with the grass overlapping it I really like the way that they've blended things I don't think I found them more frequently than usual. I was just exploring constantly, so rather um, found a few things. I guess that's something else to consider. I've been basically exploring for what, 2,500 blocks? We started at, you know, like around zero, zero. Um, so really we've been doing nothing but walking and looking around. Jay Price, thanks so much for hanging out. Have a good day. Appreciate you being here again. We will see you soon. And Fungus. AKA Fungus is one, a hilarious username. Also, welcome. Thanks for the follow. I think we're good. Uh, unfortunately, I think we're also full. So, let's, uh, oh, I can smelt some of this down. Looking forward to taking a scroll through Twitter and seeing screenshots of what people have been finding structure-wise. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I agree. What I should do is probably smelt most of this copper. Oh, I can put this... What am I doing? There we go. That'll help my life. 
Forget about that. So while that's smelting, let's go check out some of these other houses and see if there's any things that we can uh, borrow without returning. Careful not to fall in any lava that we don't want. Shiner Art Project. See you later. Have a good one. I think we watched, we looked at that one. Oh, I think I touched that bed. Crap. Actually, that's not a bad idea. One emerald. Joy. Not even worth stealing. Any more iron just kicking around? We found a little bit, but not a lot. On the surface. Don't have my shield. Crap. Run away. Why are you coming after me? I didn't do anything to you. All right, fine. I guess I should probably get a sword. It's a weird little spot. Whoa. The joys of no boots. Oh, you're just little. Little and poor. Do to do, do. Last but not least, more bread, more emeralds. Didn't see a blacksmith anywhere. Swim up the waterfall, I guess. Would you that you could do this in real life? Golem. Uh, up there, wasn't it? So, probably don't need the sand. I don't have a bow yet, but I should probably keep the arrows. I don't really need the obsidian. Bedtime. All right. Uh, we are definitely going to have to make some choices here. have enough of that honestly don't need more bread keep the leather don't know that we need bones don't know that we need tripwire hooks it's just iron that we don't have to worry about later I don't think I need dirt either obviously I want those back and this back which I don't have room for here we go She's tight. The inventory is tight. Well, I guess we should look at the jungle temple for more iron. Uh, we are about 90 minutes into the stream. So at this point, I want to... Hopefully we can find a place that looks cool. I wouldn't mind finding a lush cave uh, or a dripstone cave. Something to set up shop in. Unless we find like an epic mountain. At which point we might live in a mountain. But I think it might be a decent way to um, set up shop here. Uh, torches, please.
All the gold. Sure. I'm gonna take the chest too. Might as well take those. I realize I didn't take the levers at all. But we've got lots of sticky pistons for automation. Do 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 do. -do. Grab that. Nothing in there. Oh, did I get the string? I guess we don't need it. Funny how the... Because it's in the, the savannah, I guess? Badlands. Uh, the vines are brown. Didn't really hide it very much. Kind of stood out like a sore thumb. <laughs> I forgot, does the Citadel reset chunks or expand the world border? Uh, we just, uh, we don't have enough people uh, to really have to worry too much about world borders. So we just uh, trim the chunks. And what I do is I do it by continent. Like I have a decent idea what the world looks like. And we've got a couple of new areas. And uh, all we've done is just, um, I trimmed them right up. In the areas that I played personally a lot, uh, I trimmed them very close to where I was playing. And in the places where I just knew people were playing, but I didn't know anything about what was going on in the area, I trimmed them up to the edge of the ocean. And so people can still, you know, as long as you're, you know, as long as you know you have to go to a new continent to um, to see new stuff, then it's pretty straightforward. We've also got a number of places on the server where we um, send people like 10,000 blocks via command block. So it works out. It's important that you do not throw the wooden pickaxe away. Oh, that's right. I'm totally carrying that wooden pickaxe, aren't I? Thanks. After a while, you ever find that you just look at your inventory and just not register what's in there? Cheap fuel. need two stacks one stack is fine whoops adam griffin i agree some of the sound design in minecraft has been fantastic was it quiet for anybody i feel like that's normally louder but maybe that's something that they've changed we are now heading uh more south. I feel like we might want to loop around and start to head a little bit more east. Also feel like we're running out of south. That is a big ocean. Anybody else that's been playing, did you notice the, how nice the rivers look now? In particular, even large rivers that are more like lakes have a um, have a bit more um, like shape to them. They look like they've been carved out more. Ooh, this looks promising. Giant hole, giant hole. Oh, it doesn't go very far. That's fine. Ugh. Well, maybe. Well, looks like we're going down now anyway. I wasn't planning on going down here. More copper, some light down there. Does not look like anything special. Eventually we're gonna have to just dig. We're just gonna have to go down and 
do some stuff. But for that, I'm going to find probably a, an appealing looking cave and then set up a, like a little temporary base and a bed on the surface. Ground farms for days. Yeah, we mentioned that too, the Precios. All right, let's go up on top of that. This looks like it might be warm ocean with the way that the water's changing color. Tropical fish. I thought it was really cool uh, in your video pixel riffs about um, being underground in the caves and then seeing really bright blue water and realizing that the surface water, or at least the water in the area, was warm ocean. I thought it was a really cool juxtaposition against like the dark deep slate stuff and then the lush caves. It was really cool. That is interesting. Flower forest. Cosmic is happy. Yeah, I can imagine people choosing cave bases just because of the surface watercolor. Yeah, for sure. Even if you wanted to do something gloomy, like you could just try to find a cave underneath a swamp and then everything would be kind of like gross looking. Is this a flower forest? I don't know if it's a flower forest or one of those meadows. I don't think we're high enough for a meadow. We're at 70, but that's nothing in the new snapshot. It's like a flower grove. This is a flower plains. Very pretty. The Ninja Turtles build? Nice, Precios. Excellent reference. I approve. I was a Ninja Turtles kid. I've noticed that some of the... Uh, is that calcite or diorite? Must be diorite. Is it, does it, is it me or does that look like calcite from this angle? I know it's not... I know it's likely not. No, there's no way. There's an off chance. I have to go see. Because that would complete, if it is, then that would complete our spyglass mission. It's right there. It's only 50 blocks. It's diorite. It just, on the off chance, it looked like it could have been exposed. I guess what we would have seen would have been basalt. Oh, that would have been the dead giveaway. It's something very freeing about just running around in Minecraft and not having to like do anything. We're not building anything. We're not looking for something particular resources. We're just running, you know? What are we on now? Stone Shore. These are cool. I like these a lot. This is the second one that we've seen. Like this is really neat looking. Doesn't look at all like you know, janky or anything like it's just, it's the kind of thing that weather would create in real life. Sun's going down. Let's see if we can get a good shot of it. Anybody else have their head go into their pit of their stomach? Me too. Guess we're too close to it now. Except for the stone cloud. <laughs> Pretty cool. need more gear there's one more around here somewhere there it is there is the deep dark the only biome missing in this snapshot assuming that the deep dark is a biome yes it looks like that's the only thing uh, that we don't have uh we're just gonna do this now Oh, more iron. Because of maths. Yep. Yep, you heard it here first. You heard it here first. I guess we should take these. Don't know why. A 
long as I can have at least a multiple of nine, I'm happy. We're just going to do it. Ten iron ingots. What do I have? I have... And I'm going to need an axe and another pick. Let's do boots instead. Time to kill some rabbits. Yeah, we tried that. I still don't like it. I still don't like it. So this I also find interesting in that some of these um, taiga forests have subtle rolls to them. And I think it makes a huge difference. That's still... Oh, that's going east. Okay, cool. Uh, maybe we should build a boat. Yes, I realize it's one more thing to carry. But we can always just leave it behind. Now this is where in the snapshots for uh, Caves and Cliffs Part 1, we had issues. So if my camera starts going crazy, this is a known thing that at least I was aware of. Diorite in a birch forest herding cats? That sounds like absolute nightmare for me. Yep, we definitely have the issue with the boat, the boat camera being jittery. That's fine. I just won't look around that much as little as possible until I hit the shore. More diorite. I haven't seen any geodes popping out of the ocean. Another stone arch. That's cool. I, like when it looks natural like that, I think that's really great. I'm glad that there's so many of these. Like that's the second one that we found. Exit, please. Thank you. Don't know if we have enough room for this. We don't. Um, what is it that we don't need? I guess the axe for now. We can just make another one. I feel like that's a screenshot opportunity. Subtle stuff like this is almost as, as cool as the big, you know, monumentous things that you see. Lava pool, as one does. Floating math cloud. It's funny, I'm experiencing the same thing that you did, Pixel Riffs, in that we haven't gone caving just because I've been so enamored by... That, like, look at this. This is really cool. I've I've been in places on the planet that look like this with the exposed rock and then the big hills with like a single tree. I've totally been in places like this. It needs a little bit of work, but like the potential is really there. Now there's a big hill. I feel like I just want to go from the top of one hill to the next of, you know, the next hill. It's like this endless bounding adventure. Really looks like modded. I agree. We mentioned that before. It looks like um, like Biome Bundle or Biomes of Plenty. Um, it's not as dense as far as the vegetation goes. When I played all of Fabric 3, I don't remember what the combination of generation mods that there were in that pack, but it absolutely... Uh, has that vibe to it. I really enjoyed walking around in that because that had some really dense foliage, foliage like uh, really tall grass and um, like really, really cool stuff. I 
This would be a fun place to live too. Oh, I hear lava. That's interesting. It's like a volcano that hasn't erupted yet. What amplified should have been? Yeah. I I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get too too critical of Minecraft. I think it's all been you know, iterative. Yeah. Oh, frozen oceans, cows on the mountains. And then actually a decently flat place. So this is not, I mean, like it's cool, but we haven't really come across anything super epic in a little while. Am I heading east still? Yes. Maybe we'll go in a big old circle. Learn very early on to look before you leap. We almost ended up in a very big hole. Has anybody heard if you're going to be able to roll um, snapshot to snapshot? Like if you can have the same world go from one one snapshot to the next, or do you have to do like a brand new world? I'd imagine maybe for the first few, you'll have to just start anew. Hopefully you can keep on going. I'm not going to build anything precious. I just don't want to have to gear up every time, you know? I think they said no. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised. Not not a criticism at all. I I did not expect it to be something you could do in the first, in the first few versions. Uh, have you seen any of the new super narrow crevices yet? Um, those things will really take advantage of straight down to the depths. No, I haven't seen those yet. I'm expecting these worlds will be one-offs since everything is so experimental. Major terrain tweaks won't be worth keeping the world through anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's what I figured. Still fun. That's why I joked around on Twitter saying that the, the Wednesday snapshot streams are back, at least for today. <laughs> like even this I find is much nicer than having a beach there, you know? Everything going smoothly down into the, the ocean. Cause like as, as Pixel Rifts knows living in the UK and as I live in Nova Scotia, there's not a lot of places where your, your beach actually goes straight down uh, to a nice smooth Smooth beach. Normally it's like this, <laughs> if not higher. Oh, looks like we're going down here. This is odd. I don't usually remember seeing a lot of um, pockets like this exposed, at least not this close to forests. Pacific Northwest as well. I think really a lot of just North American seaside cliffs are like that. There's a, a kind of a crack. You can see where some of them have been pulled down, but then just not pulled down far enough to really go anywhere. An interesting combination. That's really cool too. That's really barren looking. Portal. I want to go over there. This is like a game of squirrel where I'm just like, what's next? Oh, turn it. Yeah, this really feels like, I feel like the last time I watched Iskel play modded on where he was building, it might have been Vault Hunters 1. Or maybe his first modded series, but he he lived in a place that sort of looked like this, where he had like taiga forest and stone shores. Really, all I wanted to come over here for was just see if there's any exposed iron. This is really cool, like different, but still not uninteresting. You know, devoid of life, but not boring. What biome? Is it a swamp biome? It looks like a swamp biome. 
the the pucrid green water. What's the podcast called again that Joel and Pixar of us make? It's called the Spawn Chunks. And uh, Cosmic has a link for you there in the chat. Thanks, Cosmic. We're about to hit episode 150 next week, where we're going to be very much talking about this <laughs> this snapshot. This is a deep, a deep cut of swamp. Swamp. <laughs> um, ocean swamp? Sure. Oh, the merc. Blech. If you really wanted to set up shop there, you could, but I don't. Looks like a tidal bay. Yeah, you're right. Swamps struggle to generate in the snapshot. I That's interesting. Swotion. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. There's a ruined portal over there. I like these little things. Those things are cool. We definitely have similar things to that in Nova Scotia. Oh, my ankles. Looks like an oil spill. You're right, hurting cats. It does, doesn't it? I guess we're too far away to see it now, but totally does. I want to be very careful that we don't die in the lava. Old pants, might as well. Now we match. Um, don't think we need those. And I'll take chest without an axe. I'm going to take the chest very slowly. Um, that is not what I wanted to do. Wrong thing. Might as well make an axe while we're here. Um, do, do, do. All right, so I'd say it might be time whoop, to head. We did south, we did east, so then north again, I, I guess. Yeah, you could really come up with some cool places. I think the hardest part about the new the new world generation when it finally gets here is going to be deciding where to settle down, right? Like, I feel like you almost have to make yourself settle down in the first cool spot you find and then branch out from there. Otherwise, you're just never going to want to stop. <laughs> Anyone else feel perhaps they should let you make bundles from leather? I know... Uh, it's a good to give use of rabbit hide, but bunnies can be hard to find in early game. You need bundles mostly. I, I also find too that the killing of the bunnies does not feel good. So that's another thing as well. Um, but yes, uh, there's a data pack that you can that you can do. Uh, Hermitcraft, uh, not Hermitcraft. Sorry, Vanilla Tweaks. Uh, I get I get them confused sometimes. But Vanilla Tweaks has a data pack where you can just make it out of leather. Difficult and sad, says Precios. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there's a big hill. Are we heading north? We are heading north. This stream might be mostly just walking around. Hope everybody's okay with that. Pretty chill. Oh, cave. No. I find that happens a lot. The, like, 10 block cave with a pool of water. Hey, 
Amigo Vixen, how's it going? Good to see you. Sorry, I didn't see you come in. Rip check time coming up soon. Uh, rip check is in a half an hour, but I do need to step away for a little for a little five minute break. So we're gonna get up here and see what's next, and then I might step away to give my eyeballs a rest. It is it is very similar to the snapshot in that I do have to make sure I'm resting my eyes. There's just enough jitter with my PC, which I wish I could figure out. Um, I see these a lot too. These little like cuts through the mountains. So this is a taiga, snowy taiga, but we're at 104. And it's not a snowy taiga hills, it's just snowy taiga. Whoop, I reloaded the chunks, sorry. It's a combination of like my mouse button, which is F3, and moving in a certain direction, like with W or A or S or D. Is this the same mountain that I was on top of a minute ago? I hear lava again. That's That seems odd that it's twice that I've been up on top of something. Yeah, I've been here before. Crap. All right, let's go. We did east for a while. I just, I didn't, I didn't go far enough east, I guess, or west, I guess. Can we do it? What? Nope. Whoa. That was almost death. I'm not paying attention. All right. I need to find a spot to AFK for five minutes. My water glass is empty anyway. Oh, look, an ice bridge. How convenient. Storm Dance, thanks so much for the lurk. Appreciate it. Dealing with some icebergs here. Looks pretty cool. Uh, this looks good enough. Let's just pop over here. Well, maybe not down there. Sure. Oh no! Kill a drone! Raiding with a party of seven. Thanks so much, Kill Drone. We'll hang out here and say hello. Really appreciate you sharing your viewers. Uh, if uh, if everybody wants to that's coming in uh, wants to pop on over and watch on twitch.tv slash Joel Duggan, we're trying to grow the channel. So your, I guess, raw view helps a great deal in that uh, in that no, um, regard. You were named this guy by Kill Drone. This guy. My name's Joel. Uh, I do a variety of things here on Twitch. Uh, I do some art. I do some streaming of um, other video games, but mostly, mostly it's Minecraft because I do the Spun Trunks podcast with Pixel Riffs. We co-host a weekly news show about Minecraft that you probably know about, but sometimes people don't. Um, but uh, you caught me just as I need to step away. Uh, I'm doing a couple things today. Streaming from the new snapshot from 118, the experimental snapshot, and I'm cooking ribs, ribs on the barbecue. Uh, so um, I need to go refill my water. Double check to make sure I'm not burning anything. Uh, and then uh, I will be back. Uh, and the Vixen just gifted five tier one subs to the community. Holy smokes. Clock DK, Skull Daisy Gimp, Avid Kinka, Respawn2, and Bradleaf all got gift subs. Please be sure to thank the Vixen in the chat. Thank you ever so much. Gift sub bomb right as I'm going. Uh, Lackey0909, hello. Go, go, go. Don't burn supper, says Vixen. Okay, cool. Uh, give me, just give me five minutes. This is going to be a short one because I'm going to have to check him again in a half an hour. But for now, just, just give me a minute. I will be right back.
I am not used to having all of this in the same OBS interface. But we're back. Ribs are looking good. I will have to go again in a half an hour to wrap them. But beyond that, things are good. We're going to get hit by a spider. Darn it. I saw that coming. Uh, I just want to sleep. Spider. Another spider. Oh, I don't want to die. Run away. Hold on. What did I get for not eating before I came back? And the sun's up anyway. <laughs> okay, fine. All right, then. <laughs> Minecraft let me sleep, right? Uh, anyway, as I was saying, um, the ribs are looking okay. Uh, I'm going to have to wrap them in a half an hour. Uh, let's get rid of that. That looks like an interesting hole. Uh, cave, perhaps? I don't think I need any string for anything. I'm not going to find rabbits. That's fine. We'll just go. We'll just go. Wow. So it's hollow on the inside. It's a giant donut mountain. That looks like a potential cave. Doesn't look like there's a smooth way to get down. There's one of those cracks, those like thin carver things, I think. Why not? Picture the ribs on Discord. Uh, they're no different. They look the same. That's why I didn't take a picture. They look the same. I just hit them with more apple cider vinegar uh, and apple juice and... Um, Check the temps. I had to put more charcoal on. The barbecue temperature was dropping. We've been sitting at about 250 for the last uh, two and a half hours. And uh, in the last 15 minutes or so, it dropped down to like um, 230. So trying to get it to come back up, but it's at 186 right now. I have a new Smoke X2 barbecue alarm, which I talked about on the Siddle Cafe podcast today. And so it lets me monitor the temperature of the grill from here in the studio, which is great. But I don't like that I can't get it to come back up to temp. I don't want it to... I mean, it, it'll matter more if I... Well, it's slowly climbing. I had the, I had the lid off for a good five minutes. Um, I'll... Um, it's slowly climbing. I need, to, uh, I need to wrap them in half an hour. And at that point, it won't really matter. They're not going to dry out in the foil. You'd go anywhere fun. Opens up a bit. I definitely do not want to tangle with an Enderman. Nothing out of the ordinary. Hmm. Kind of want to just keep going. Oh well. I wouldn't mind having like a cool cool base on the top end down into the world. I mean not that it matters, because of course if we can't carry from one world to the next, then I mean I guess we could always depending on what changes in the next snapshot, we could just continue to play every Wednesday in this world until we decide to move on. I might need to go get a thermometer like that. Um, your temperature goes down on the left hand side or you mean, are you talking about two different things?
You see love cats. Thanks for the follow. They're very steep. I find there's not a lot of casual descending. Really, I'm just probing these caves to look for quick iron like that. Because I think the mode for the stream is basically maintain nomadic standpoint. Keep on looking. Keep on trucking. Keep the torches. Why not? All the jumping. Hello! Heard about you from some other content creators. Came here to see what's up. Well, thanks very much to those content creators and thank you to coming by. Appreciate that. A bit of a different stream right now, obviously, because we're in the um, the snapshot, the 118 snapshot. We'll definitely be talking about this on the next episode of the, the spawn chunks. Whoa. Uh, let's go northwest. Sure. I've definitely gotten spinned around. I would not have pegged this as northwest. Hey, there's a taiga village or a frozen. What are what are these called? They aren't taiga villages. Is that the same hill? Probably the same hill. I don't remember seeing this though. After a while, these little mounds start to look the same unless they've got different texture to them with terrain. Keep on keeping on, exactly. I didn't realize these villages had igloos. Snowy village is what this is. I'll steal that though. It's a ninja visit. You saw nothing. I don't have enough room. Take the bread. Take the coal. I'm not robbing them blind. We're just kind of boring without the intent of returning. I like these village designs. Yoink. Okay, bye. Lots of cats. No wonder I don't like this place. I'm a dog prison. How are you liking the new terrain overhaul in survival? I haven't seen many others try survival besides picture Uh I like it. I um, It feels very unique. It still feels like Minecraft, but it feels like that moment when you're playing modded Minecraft and you get excited because things look really flowy, I guess, is for lack of a better word. There's definitely some, some math, you know, hanging in the sky here and there. I think we've already been in there. Um, but other than that, it's been pretty good. Uh, noticing big differences in... Oh. This is... We're going to do this this person a favor. Uh, oh, they, they, they actually do have access. I was like, you can't even get you in your front door. That's fine. Um, yeah, noticing things like... Uh, rivers and... Um, I will say lakes, even though they're technically river biomes, look really cool because they have nice tapered deep steep edges uh we've seen some cool looking um badlands i think the badlands have been my favorite thing so far uh, but this kind of stuff is nice too this kind of thing a lot of these stone arches if this goes all the way through or we've been seeing a lot of these kind of things when the, the light goes through, you know? And then a lot of these narrow claustrophobic cracks that go down. Eventually here, I'm just going to have to give up the ghost and just settle on a place to call Overworld Base. 
you know. Be like this. It, at first it looks like a simple arch, but then you get inside of it and it's really different looking. Plus, like, how cool is that? The frozen river that cuts through the middle of this mountain like a river normally would. Like, this is... If this connected all the way down, right? Like, how cool would that be? Pixar and I have discussed a number of times on the podcast about how we wish that rivers and lakes and stuff connected in a realistic way. Um, but, like, that is almost there. And I guess it's enough to suggest the player, like, hey, maybe you should complete this and have it connect down to the, the body of water down there. But that... Like, that looks really cool. Screenshot. And I almost jumped in. Local water levels make a big difference, I agree. Yeah, we've definitely not seen anything like this before. That's really cool, too. I've noticed some of the birch biomes are really big. Are there any goodies worth checking out in the, um, the igloos? Creamy garlic herb steak bites. Wow. Mashed cauliflower. You had me up until the cauliflower. Not a big fan with the cauliflower. Huh. I guess there's nothing in here. I'm not sure what the redstone was for. Guess we'll sleep. Gotta say though, the expansive, when it gets flat, it can get flat for a while, which looks really cool. Take it easy, herding cats. Glad you found it interesting. Sorry we haven't really done a lot of building, but You'll get that on the next Citadel stream. Uh, it's going to be like a redstone heavy stream. We've got a um, zombie spawner and um, cave spider spawner next to the geode on the uh, on the Citadel. This is a really large snowy biome too. Or I guess several different ones that all bleed together. I think the reason uh, is there is because there's normal torch would just melt ice. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Like, look at this. It's a pretty deep lake. It's got some different shape to it. Okay, I bet if we... Right? Like, that's not just four blocks and then sand, right? Uh, plus jelly, yep. The uh, 118 snapshot number one. Experimental snapshot number one. We've seen a couple of cool things. Nothing like monstrous, but we've definitely definitely felt the new change in the train gen. What I think I need to do now is I need to switch gears and start going down. I was just looking for a, a, a fun place to set up shop at the top so that if we do need to come back up we can do I still have that boat I do and I know I was just gonna be exploring like this I would have taken a much lighter inventory I just would have not cared oh I spoke too soon Ta-da! Not the prettiest thing, but a thing nonetheless. Can we get around over here? I think we're back at the jungle now. 
Hey, it's a swamp. Trouble navigating here. Like pinball with lily pads. No, I want the boat. See now look, you wouldn't have even thought to look down there, right? But this is this is the kind of thing that I think is really interesting about this update. Like, it's not big, it's not cavernous, but it the fact that it exists is really cool. Definitely trying the snapshot. The world gen is, is amazing. Yeah, it's really different. I, I mean, I wouldn't go so far as to say amazing just yet, but I think the potential is amazing for sure. Uh, how good is your PHC? Tried running this on mine and couldn't stop freezing every two frames. Mm. I've got okay. You can see the specs below the uh, the video. Then you've got stuff like this. Axolotls. First time. So not... This is more like Shattered Savannah, right? Like that doesn't feel as well thought out as the rest of it. Yeah, I decided not to do the flying around on purpose, just to try and get more of a ground level. Just because the, the big hills look so much bigger when you're standing at, you know, Y70 or whatever. This is what gets me, is that whenever you cross what looks like just a small body of water, the chances of it being a much larger one are, are high. Hey, Plus Jelly, subscribe to Tier 1. Thank you very much. Appreciate you supporting the stream. If you want, you can connect your Discord and your Twitch and join us in the um, member-only Discord between streams. Appreciate that. I guess the other thing I could do, we could just, I could just, I have cheats enabled. We could just teleport ourselves back to spawn and then set up at that mesa. Maybe that's the thing to do. Maybe that's the thing to do. Where are we in terms of distance? Yeah, we're still 2,000 blocks away. Let's just see what's around the corner here. And if there's nothing here in the next couple of minutes, then we'll uh, go back to the Mesa. Would it be really funny slash head smacking amusing if we went underground back at like spawn and there was this beautiful lush cave that was there the whole time I need to do more in snowy biomes too. We were discussing on the the podcast recently how difficult it is to be creative in these biomes because snow just gets everywhere and you don't have a lot of in-game options for removing stuff like that. But uh, I do like how crisp they look. It's such a different... You're just so used to seeing green and brown, right? With Minecraft... Um, Minecraft gen stuff. Like the plains and other forest biomes. Wonder if 118 will mark the beginning of Java Edition's downfall due to performance issues. I, they've got to maintain both. I can't imagine they're going to put it out if it's per, poor performing. That's probably one of the things that they have on their list of, to make sure is sorted. Um, because this is, of course, like I we mentioned, an experimental snapshot. There's a lot of optimization that is not even 
in the game because why would you bother you just end up doing more work than you really need to I don't know if this is something we've seen before or not I like this area though feels very natural yeah exactly I'm sure performance is going to be forefront I mean they want it to look cool but the, it needs to work and one of the things about Minecraft the, the, the broad appeal is that it's not something that requires the latest greatest video card that you can't get a hold of although I have to say something is definitely um, jittery here I'm not sure what what's updating but I guess the funny draw about these places that's really cool is that they look really cool but then when you're on the thing you can't see the thing anymore right so you have to kind of the, the thing is don't build on one build like between two of them or next to one so that you can always look at the cool thing and have a reason to go up and have a reason to, to live at the bottom too this is kind of odd. Oh man, there is definitely something happening here. Vertical chunk loading? Yeah, maybe. The thing about Java and performance is that like, there's always going to be factors that they just can't foresee. Like for example, um, they can't un they can't foresee the fact that my particular combo of of processor motherboard whatever my issue is with my frame stutter they can't predict that and as far as on paper one of the biggest problems and why I can't figure out what's going on is because I don't know like I can't I uh, I can't troubleshoot because it's not a Minecraft issue and it looks to be a hardware thing I've tried other software problems that just it's it's not easy to sort out things it, it feels like it's processor related but my processor is below the twitch chat it's a what is it the i9 it's brand new as of october well new to me i think it's a year old as far as the design goes still something that should be able to run minecraft no problem but like that's not something that mojang can control Again, very cool with the stone arches. Another village in the hillside. I don't know if we've been here or not. Feel like maybe we have. It's possible. Feel like it's possible. What are your thoughts about mobs only being able to spawn in complete darkness? 100% agree. I think it's a great improvement. It means that players like me that want to do dim lit, lush caves and spooky, you know, nether builds and all that kind of stuff. I guess nether's not a good example, but if I wanted to make a spooky build in the overworld made it a blackstone and keep it all dark and nasty looking, then I could keep it mostly mob free, even if it was very dim. And I think that's... That's an excellent way to unlock a lot of potential in the community. This has been mostly just a walk and talk <laughs> for a stream. And also like for the people that are um, farmers and, and have like redstone farms and mob farms and stuff, it's not a hard fix to get everything light tight. Anybody that's really obsessed with performance is, is got light tight farms anyway. I should have gotten the boat. You forget how slow it is in water when you play Endgame as far as as long as I have. You forget how long it is just to go 50 blocks in water. It's totally with, worth dropping the boat to just go across. Now this is an interesting combo. The, the sand from the desert coming right up. Turtle in the middle of nowhere. Is there ocean over here? Nope. That's really awesome. We have other food.
Most people who are complaining about the new mob spawning, it's too easy. Haven't been down to those caves uh, with a thousand keep creepers come down to you because the impossible light them up. Yeah, no, exactly. I just look. There are other ways to make Minecraft hard. A really good example. Uh, this might be the Mesa build that we were on before. Um, I play in iron armor even on the Citadel. I've got iron leggings, netherite boots, a gold helmet, and a lightra, and we're on hard. And um, if I don't pay attention, I get my face handed to me. Because, well, one, I suck at PvE. But also, I'm not wearing diamond or netherite anything on the server outside of the boots. The boots are just because I jump off a lot of stuff and I don't know how to land without breaking my own ankles. But, like, you can make it harder for yourself without, you know, relying on the game to make it harder. I mean, like, if you want hard Minecraft, if you don't like the fact that it's... Um, if you don't like the fact that it's... Uh, the mobs are spawning at different places, then just walk around with no armor on. Guarantee you'll find it harder. <laughs> Insta death by creepers. Yeah, that's the thing too. You could you could set your you know install a data pack and and have your max heart be three health. Uh, uh, wow, that's that was backwards. Have your health be three hearts. Another way to make it harder. I do feel like we've been here before. Oh, the big. If we see a. We see an arch over here. And we know we've been here. I'm pretty sure this is where we were before. There's a cave here too. Maybe this is where we set up shop. Yeah. Yeah, I ended up walking back in pretty much a straight line. Whoops. That's fine. Like, this is really cool. Can't complain. Does it actually go down into into the world a little bit not as far as I'd want oh maybe nope It's interesting, you can almost see the pull. You know, you can see the algorithm pull the terrain down. Neat. It's like tying a little piece of a string into a cloth and tugging on it. Norpa, hello. Fun username. Thanks for coming by. That was pro boat distribution. I believe there's a universe in which Java does not get the 118 world gen. Oh, maybe. I mean, that's the other thing. People can always just play in an older version. But I don't think they want that either. Because they've said on a number of occasions that they want to have like a parody between the versions as best they can. Proving more difficult than I think they first imagined. But I admire the effort and I think it's important that they try to keep everybody on the same page. Do, 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 do. Well, you know what? We didn't get to we didn't get to any caves. But unfortunately, I think that's where I'm going to have to wrap it up. I still have to uh edit a podcast today. And I uh I need to obviously attend to dinner. Still a few hours away from eating that, but that's going to require a little bit more attention than I think that I have. Uh however, if you've enjoyed the stream today, then be sure to leave a follow before you take off. And don't go anywhere just yet. We are going to raid someone that's live playing Minecraft. I'm not sure who just yet, but we've got a number of awesome content creators that I tend to pass everyone along to. And there's a great number of you. So I'd appreciate it if you all piled in and give somebody, you know, a nice hello um, before you take off. Um, but uh, do check out the Spawn Chunks. It's the free podcast all about Minecraft every Monday at thespawnchunks.com. You can check out the Citadel Cafe at thecitadelcafe.com. A new episode will be going out probably later tonight. So you can check that out on your uh, podcast player of choice or at thecitadelcafe.com. Uh, check out patreon.com too. Uh, besides the Twitch subs, which have been amazing today, 
and uh, all the support here from the community live on the stream. You can also support via Patreon. I understand that during the pandemic, a lot of people are on a budget. It's only $2 a month. You help me stream more often. You help me do weekday streams. All that kind of stuff is very much appreciated. And all of those things lead to the Discord. So Twitch sub, Prime sub, pa uh, Patreon, whatever it is, you get to hang out in the Discord no matter what. And uh, we'll look forward to saying hi in between streams. Uh, that's going to be it for me, folks. Have a fantastic evening. And we'll see you next time. Uh, next stream is going to be Friday. Streaming back from the Citadel as far as I know. Unless I decide to crack open an indie game. But uh, either way, we'll see you soon. Bye for now.